Okay, so real quick, here's the effect we're going to be making. Hey, boss. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> How's it going? You good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm off now. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, yeah. yeah, no, I was just calling and say what's up, man. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah did you did you do that uh, that uh, illustration I was asking for? Uh. Hi, my name is Chisomo Nkoma, and uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, creating the WhatsApp video call UI in Premiere Pro. But, strangely, we're going to start in Photoshop. Well, you're going to see it's not that strange. Okay, so I've created some templates um, for you guys. Um, they're called WA Video Call UI In Call Template and WA Video Call UI Template. Um, once you've downloaded them, They'll, they're free. Once you've downloaded them, just open them up. And uh, once you're inside, you'll see that there is the UI template for the WhatsApp video call. This is for outgoing calls. I haven't made a template for incoming calls, receiving calls. Um, so you guys will have to um, ask me for that. Request it in the comments and I'll make it. Okay, cool. So. The first thing we're going to do is uh, look at the layers. Um, the first one says replace me. You will double click into it and you will grab a picture, drop it in. Um, this is going to be the person that you are calling. And um, you're going to hit save. Go back to the template. And the next thing we'll be editing is the text. So the name here. We'll go to the T symbol here, the text, change me, double click on that, and you can put in whatever name you want. And I'm going to leave it at Chisomo D. Nkoma, that's my name. All right, yeah. Then the next thing will be this layer at the bottom that says hide me. You just click on the I symbol. Now this is so that it's transparent when we go into Premiere Pro and then we'll hit save um, then we can close out of this file and um, we will open our WA video call UI in call template and this is going to be the UI when you've when the person's answered the phone and now you guys are talking so here we don't have to do much we just need to hide this layer and we'll hit save um, I'll send it to you already transparent so that you don't have to do this so you can just drop it into Premiere um, but I just wanted to show you so yeah that's it we're done on to Premiere I welcome you to Premiere okay in Premiere I have created a project it's called WA video call in Premiere and uh, this is where it all begins so First of all, you need to get all your assets into this project, into this import media section here. Now, you guys are not going to see the screen that I'm getting my stuff from folder, so it's going to look like it's coming from the project, but it's not. It's coming from a folder uh, from an, from the Windows Explorer. So I'm just going to drag in the two Photoshop files that we just created, and we're going to keep import as merge all layers. Say OK say OK again and then we're gonna get our two things in this tray here now we'll go back to our folder and we will select the videos that we'll be using for this and uh, there we go so that's everything that we need so these templates are set at a particular resolution to fit the videos. The videos are recorded on WhatsApp. I found that to be the easiest way to do it and I recommend that you guys do it because it maintains the quality of a WhatsApp call so it'll look real. Um, anyway, so these these come in at 412 by 736. So our templates are created to be 412 870 to fit the top and bottom parts of the screen that are usually the Android UI. So um, all we have to do is grab these, 
drag them into the drop media here part and it'll create a sequence that is to the dimensions of the Photoshop file that way you don't have to change anything alright so you'll take this layer and you will drag it up to the third part of the video and the other so that we have some space to put in the videos themselves so just double clicking here to preview this is going to be my outgoing call and this is going to be the person we're calling so I will drag out the outgoing call and drop him at just a below the template and then I will drag in the uh, receiver and drop them there um, I already know the like the pacing or whatever so I, I'm just gonna uh, drag this out obviously you guys will have to do some figuring out of like how exactly you want to edit this and yeah so now we've got our template over this guy okay cool so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out where we want the person to answer the call because um, this part let me just turn off these videos this part that has the name and the picture they disappear in a video call once someone answers and then this this video shrinks into the corner and this video stays um, in the middle of the screen um, so we're going to try to replicate that uh, the way we do it so we get to the point where a person answers for me it's over here um, it's over there so we're just going to trim this back to end right there so that's where it ends then I'm going to drag in the what's uh, whatsapp video call UI in call template because this is now the effect of when the person has answered so that disappears and then the rest of the stuff stays so I just made this easier you could have done it with masks in uh, Premiere but I, I made it easier by just having a separate file uh, and you will see why in a second so you just take this and you drag it all the way to the end I know my call ends right there so I'm just gonna trim all of these videos to end over there cool so we'll go back to here now the way that this disappears I'm just gonna turn these off again the way that the this disappears kind of just snaps off now in um, in WhatsApp there's an animation and uh, we are just going to fade out this info so that what's left is the other stuff and uh, what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna go to video transitions to dissolve and cross dissolve we're gonna drag that out and put it in between there now that's going to give us that effect of fading out and then leaving the other stuff on so it might be going too slow so we can trim that to go a little faster so we just drag in these and they they automatically just shift in and that'll adjust the pace so that'll make it a little faster and I think a little better I'm just gonna make it a tiny bit faster or actually I think it was okay where it was um, yeah it's good so now the next thing let's turn these videos back on as you can see they're not filling the screen um, there's a black bar there when there shouldn't be there's a black bar here um, where it shouldn't be so big and that's because um, our video is only fitting within there so all we have to do for that is grab the video um, you click on the video you go to effects control and then you go to video effects and here under motion you will see scale position rotation all that stuff so all of these are just adjust adjustable <laughs> adjustable anyway, all of these are adjustable and um, you just have to get this to fit so you just drag this until it fits so it'll be about 120 for me mom the other the video below it is also going to be too small so we're just going to type in 120 since we know and that's going to fill it up 
and then um, we'll re so that so now we have the videos fitting and the next thing would be uh, the animation so what's up when you when the person answers this video shrinks to the corner of the screen and um, the video of the person answering stays big right so let's try to replicate that we'll move this uh, timeline cursor the, I don't know what this is called this is crazy anyway you move it to where the cross dissolve starts and we will come here to the to the effects make sure we click on the video that we want to affect which is the top video because this is the outgoing call and um, we come here and uh, on these these stopwatches toggle animation so these are going to turn on the keyframes so to animate we're going to be turning on keyframes and then adjusting values so we make sure that this is set to just before just when the cross dissolve is starting and we click our toggles on for keyframes and then we move this forward to when the cross dissolve ends and then we um, change our values so we're gonna scale down to taste whatever you want and then we're gonna position them to the point where it makes most sense all right so I mean this is completely up to you however you want to do it that's up to you guys and um, then um, that's it you've got your keyframe so you can drag this in to zoom in and you select both of them right click temporal interpolation and we go to Bezier so this that that's just going to smooth that trans that uh, animation out let's see it without it's a bit jaggedy like it just kind of snaps but um, with it you'll see that it's a it's a lot smoother so yeah there we go that's the hey, animation hey, man. um maybe we might want to extend these maybe make it a little longer and then of course we're gonna um have to adjust these as well so go back and just select these and move them forward Okay, so that's the whole effect. Um, hey, boss. Hey, man. Then you get your animation. Hey, boss. Hey, man. Uh, maybe we can change the interpolation to ease in so that everything kind of slows down at the end, like hey, that, man. which I think is better. Okay, so there we go. Um, that's it for the video okay so just to finish up we're going to look at some quick export settings um, you go to file export media um, and in here we're just going to set the format to H.264 and uh, we will change the preset to whatever of these you want to use you could use any um, just an uh, important thing to be aware of is the estimated file size, which is 21 megabytes right now. So if we change uh, one of these presets, you'll see that it does affect the file size. And um, if you go to one of the ones that are made for like a specific platform, if you click that, it'll also change your aspect ratio. So you just go and you hit match source here in the video tab. And... Um, then you can maintain the aspect ratio while still keeping the settings of the preset. It'll change this to custom though. Okay, so I want to keep it at medium bitrate. I'll go to the video tab and scroll down. And uh, here we'll see uh, the bitrate uh, settings. So it's bitrate settings. And um, if you change the slider, you can change the file size. So if you want it to be smaller, you go to a smaller number. Um, do not go past one 
because it'll just default back to um, a, a, a higher setting. Um, so I've found that you just need to stay between one and uh, and the maximum. Obviously, the higher you go, the better the quality of the video, and the lower you go, the better the lower the quality, but also the lower the file size. Okay, so I'll keep it at two. Export. Yep, and that's it, guys. So um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you liked this tutorial hit the like button, um, leave a comment, leave a suggestion for any tutorials that you would like to see in the future. Subscribe so you can see those tutorials when they come up. Yeah, so this has been uh, Chiso Tutors. My name is Chiso Moncoma. See you next time.